Okay, so I've had some ideas about various games that I think should be made. If these games actually do exist, I would appreciate it if you would let me know. And I certainly will shut up and, you know, stop saying that they need to be made. I don't play every single game that is put out. So, anyway, one idea, I'll admit, I'm just crazy about the Wii and the motion board, balance board, that's what it's called. I think it would rock to have a game where you are using the balance board and, like, shooting. Granted, this is already sort of true for Avatar when you're flying on the Banshee, but I do think that more could be done with it. I mean, in that game, it's you're sort of shooting kind of slowly, you're just using bow and arrow. What about a full-on first-person shooter with an arsenal, you know, machine gun, and you're riding on the balance board? It doesn't have to be something specific. You could be it could be a skateboard that you're, you know, on in the game. It could be a car. You know, there are many different possibilities. It would maybe be good if it kept to a very high speed, so you don't really worry about the speed. You just have to twist and turn, you know, get around, avoid stuff, and shoot. I think that would really rock. Another possibility would be something like that one person is on the balance board controlling the car, maybe using a Wiimote as steering wheel, also sort of, maybe, maybe the balance board like controls that you're leaning in some direction, you know, to shoot out a window or something. You can lean out of four different windows or in four different directions, whatever. and the other guy is aiming, you know. I've always thought that was a really great idea, and I know this is true of some games, that one person drives, another person shoots. And again, there could be numerous different weapons used by the guy who shoots. I guess that's about it for that. Another thing that I really don't think I've seen, and I've looked at many different games involving zombies. I still haven't found one that is just about trying to survive. There's always... I mean, I will grant. I haven't, I haven't played a lot of Resident Evil, but what I've played... Well, Resident Evil 2 does a pretty good job of the whole you have to conserve your ammo thing. That is good. That is very good when dealing with zombies. You have that feeling of, you know, it's not they're not scary on account of their speed, because they're slow. They're not scary on account of intelligence, because they're stupid. But they're scary because they're going to keep coming. You can put as many bullets as you want in them, as long as they're alive. As long as there is some part of them still moving, they're going to keep coming to get you. Regardless of what you do, and regardless of where you are, if they can get to you, they will try to get to you. That is what makes zombies scary. Resident Evil 2 somewhat has that, but playing it, I still feel like they could have more. I mean, I haven't completely completed it yet. Yes, I'm gonna got it recently, but there was one situation that was absolutely perfect. It had zombies on the other side of, like, a gate, and they were just, like, trying to get through. That was perfect. Why has I? Why have I only seen one of those in the entire game so far? That is just completely wrong. They should be all over the place. They should be literally taking over the area that you are in. I think it would be great to have a game where you have to board up the windows. You know, not just lock the doors, but you know, big planks across. Seriously, try to hold up in a building literally a fight to survive. I get the Resident Evil is also somewhat about the puzzles and such, and I can respect that, but I do think it would be really awesome to have a game that just focuses on just the zombies. Just... and if you don't do a proper job of, you know, barricading, they will get through. You know, no, no, this 
linear, predictable stuff. No, randomness. They come at random places, and, you know, I'm not saying I have every detail worked out perfectly, but I think this could work, and then maybe eventually you have to make a break for it, you know, and I think it, it might work good as, like, you know, cooperative play, you know, you could have several people, obviously it would be most effective if when someone dies, they die and they can't enter the game again, but that would maybe kind of suck, so, you know, that might need more, you know, brainstorming, but whatever, and almost no ammo. Every item you find that could conceivably be a weapon should be able to be a weapon, basically. You know, you can carry around sticks and stuff, and you know, if you, if you find a billiard cube, you can use that, but it might break, and then you no longer have that to use as a weapon. You know, really pure fight for survival. I think that would really be awesome. I mean, I kind of love zombies, especially in video games. I play every single House of the Dead game that I can get a hold of. I haven't played very much Resident Evil yet, but it's mostly been about not really having a PlayStation 2 and the old games being slightly harder to come by and such, but anyway. And what is up with that, at least the early Resident Evil games, why is there so little gore? Why can't you blow heads off and stuff? They came out at about the same time as the House of the Dead games, and those have always had, you know, heads and torsos, legs, arms being blown off. Anyway, that would of course also be a major part of, you know, you can you can maybe chop a zombie in half and the upper half will keep climbing for you, you know, stuff like that. I also think something with like infection would be really great. Think like Evil Dead 2, that kind of infection, you know, where if you think you could, you know, get through the rest of the game with only one arm, chop an arm off if it has been infected, you know. Better that than it sin on account of whatever. Anyway, I guess those are kind of the ideas that I have. To return to the balance board, in general I just think more games need to use that. That would... I saw someone once suggest like a lightsaber fighting game that also utilizes the balance board, and I think that would kind of rock. Maybe like at least a dodging kind of feature, you know? And obviously it should imitate your motion motions with the Wii, you know, like like in Red Steel 2, something like that. That would rock. If the zombie game was made for the Wii, maybe you could kind of do custom attacks with whatever you're holding in your hand using the Wii, you know, and if you do too big attacks, you know, you might leave yourself open and they might come get you, and, you know, in general, again, Resident Evil 2, I kind of feel like you can run away from zombies or you can kill, you can kill a certain amount of them and the rest you can kind of just run away from. There are too many too long portions of that game where I am not scared. And that is just wrong because it's a horror survival game. Survival horror game. Word placement. That should not happen in a survival horror game. You should not, like, be... Okay, now I'm relaxed. No. You should always be tense. I mean, if you want to relax, turn off the game, you know? It would be that there was, like, a constant stream. I mean, within reason. Obviously, there should be an explanation for why there are that many zombies, but still. You can make, like... You can slip past them if you're really good, or you can sneak away in a direction that they may be... that there weren't so many of them, and you could just fend them off for at least long enough or something, you know? But 
every single time you fire a gun, you want to make sure that you hit and you do maximum damage and you have thought it through, you know, it is not just like, well, I still have, you know, 150 bullets for this gun. No, you have like half a clip left and if you miss with this shot, you might die. If, and you're, you know, oh, should I really spend this bullet? Will I need it later? Ah, I need to use it now. That kind of thing, you know, intense, quick decisions, planning, thinking, just really a proper simulation of the zombie apocalypse. And don't worry, I'm not one of those nuts that thinks it's actually coming. Anyway, those are my thoughts for now, as far as stuff that would be really cool in future games.